Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about the whole Lala Anthony, honey, and Carmelo Anthony situation. So if you guys don't know, once again, Carmelo Anthony has been caught out there in France cheating on Lala, okay? And I guess now Lala is saying that she's fed up, she don't need no nickel, and all this other stuff. And so she was caught on video at Essence Fest, basically saying that she don't need a nigga for shit, and just, you know, basically acting ratchet as hell, honey. This was a Lala we hadn't really seen yet. Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All oh, my ladies who don't give a fuck about a nigga make some noise! I really don't though. I really don't though. All right, this next song is going out to all my independent ladies who don't need a nigga for shit. All right, so you guys just saw Lala, you know, calling herself, going off, being upset, you know, saying she don't need no nickel for shit. And my thing is this, instead of quoting, you know, city girl, whole quotes, Lala, you're a grown woman, you're damn near 40. Carmelo Anthony been showing you that, that he has no respect for you or his marriage. And you decide to take him back. He had a whole baby on your ass and you still decide to take him back. So at this point in time, you got to look in the mirror, sis. Don't, don't try and drag all females into your shit. You got to look into the mirror. You allow her to mistreat you, cheat on you constantly, and have a baby on your ass, and you still try to, you know, save face for the media. But now that, you know, his cheating has just gotten out of control and he's just being public with it, now you want to act up like the damn city girls. Girl, bye. Any damn ways. So another person who was not feeling what Lala Anthony had to say was Choke No Joke. Yes, Choke. He's back on the damn vlogs, okay? He's looking for attention. Choke No Joke decided to spill all the damn tea on Lala concerning her relationship with Sugar J and why Sugar J and Lala broke up. This entire situation is messy as hell, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch. Anyways, y'all, y'all go ahead and listen to what Choke No Joke wrote on social media. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So basically what Choke is saying is that Lala left Sugar J for Carmelo Anthony because he was going into the NBA, and she saw dollar signs. So I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what else he had to say. So Choke says this video of Lala Anthony saying that she don't need a nigga for anything and that she really doesn't care about a nigga pissed me the fuck off. He's so pissed he misspelled fuck. <laughs> I just had to point that out. I'm like, damn, Choke is really mad. He ain't even spelled fuck right. So he goes on to say Lala and her crew came up off of niggas. I hate women that say they don't need a man for anything after he gives you everything, especially a son. You spit in that man's face in public, but you didn't like it when Sugar J literally spit in your face in public at Baba Lou's at the Real Swiss's party back in the day. What a great message to send to your son that he's worthless to a woman. Backstory. Lala was Sugar Sway's girl and was sneaking around with Carmelo Anthony, clearly because he was a prospect to become an NBA player. We all knew he may get drafted. Back in the day, Lala and her friends were after all the NBA players. Some of them got babies by them. Most of these women were undercover lesbians. I believe... <laughs> Choke is spilling all the damn tea, honey. And I've been hearing that about Lala. But anyways, okay. He goes on to say, most of these women are undercover lesbians, as I believe Lala is. I believe her relationship with Kelly, Kim, and others was more than it appears. Especially when she had the VH1 show with my girl, Ayanna Poe, a former lesbian who now works with me at BET, who now, after all these years, has a man too. Now, remember, I said that in the April Jones video that I did the other day. Me. <laughs> yeah, with a dog. They be like, they gonna be like, oh my gosh, she licked her tongue. She's gay. Yes. <laughs> my mom knows I'm gay. My mom knows I'm a fucking bulldog in this industry. They use the LGBT community. They flip back and forth. One minute they're gay, then they're bi. Then all of a sudden, I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. He is basically reiterating everything I said in that April Jones video, okay? So then he goes on to say this. A former lesbian who worked with me at BT 
who not after all these years has a man too. I'm sure that they taught her a man is financial security with a baby. Do you see how hard Lala goes for gay pride every year? I was there when Lala was with Sugar J and saw her creeping with Melo. Till this day, she got caught at Baba Lou's and Sugar and Melo had the fight that got Melo arrested and sued. Sugar J walked into the club and I was standing next to Lala. Sugar says, hey baby, and goes to give Lala a kiss and she moves. He looks puzzled and she says, I'm here with my man. Suge replies, your man, I'm your man. As we all knew, Suge's heart breaks right in my face. He walks away to the back of the party. Now Melo is behind me in VIP not knowing what they are saying and don't know Suge. Suge went and said happy birthday to Swiss. He came walking back, leaving the party about to cry. And Lala, now standing in VIP, sees Suge leaving and feels bad and reaches over and grabs him to apologize. I assume he spit in her face. Mello just sees a dude spit in her face and jumps over the rails and fights Sugar. The rest is history. Hashtag choke no joke. Hashtag Lala Anthony. So this entire situation is crazy, but this is not the first time I've heard about Lala Anthony not being so innocent as she tries to proclaim herself to be. If you guys don't know, back in 2015, Mano's baby's mother was blasting Lala because Lala was allegedly creeping with Mano. So she took to social media and this is what she had to say. So her name is I Love Patrice L and she says, at Lala, does your husband know that your whole ass has been fucking my daughter's father and that you slept over his house the other night after after the movies, a man that is with me and his family every damn night. How does it feel to be a slut responsible for his daughter never waking up to see her father ever again? You can keep the clown because we don't want that bum nigga no more. All yours, ho, at Carmelo Anthony. Then she goes on to say, at Lala, and don't make me at this nigga because I come with receipts, ho. We both know his thirsty ass could love the exposure to help move his new mixtape. You're a disgrace to women everywhere. Typical married slut at Carmelo Anthony. So that is what um, Patrice had to say. And this was back in 2015. So as you see, that was Choke No Joke's point. Basically showing that she's playing victim, but she's done her dirt too. But people were still dragging him because they felt like, you know what, you're being messy. You know, you're all up in these people's business. So then at that point, Choke No Joke decided to come on camera and explain the situation in full detail. I don't know what kind of camera he's using, but that damn camera is just as crisp and clear. If all these damn celebrities use the same quality camera, it'd be a lot damn easier for me to damn edit, okay? So y'all go ahead and check out what Choke No Joke had to say, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. We all know her in the industry is Sugar J's girl, right? But she's fucking with the nigga Melo on the low because he's potentially going to go to the NBA. If he hit, <clears throat> bye, Sugar J. Nigga, I got a rich nigga now, and I'm going to get pregnant by this nigga, and I'm going to be set. In 2019, I'll be with this nigga. I'll be rich. I'll be famous, da-da-da-da-da. She did it. She accomplished her goal. I'll give it to you, Lala. You did that. Lala, he, Melo ain't marry you for a minute. You know what I'm saying? But eventually he did. Probably the pressure of the NBA. Now, the story happens. This is how Sugar J finds out that Lala's with Melo. We in Babaloo's, right? I'm standing right here. Boom. Sugar J come in the door. Lala's standing right here. She on the side of me. Melo right here up in the VIP. She's standing there. Here comes Sugar J. Sugar J comes walking in. He walks over to Lala to go give her a kiss. And she kind of moved like, yo, like, chill. You blowing up the spot, my nigga. He like, yo, like, what you doing? And she, she like, yo, chill. I'm here with my man. Sugar J said, your man? I'm your man. What the fuck you mean your man? She was like, he said, yo, you know what? Fuck you then, bitch. And he walk off. He go to the back of the party. He say, what's up to Swiss? Whoever, whoa, 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 whoa. He saw coming back, right? Now, Lala went up into the VIP with Melo at this time. Lala, am I lying, Lala? Because, you know, niggas like Big say I'm a lie. Everything I say is a lie, all right? Tell them I'm not lying, Lala, all right? And I'm not spinning the truth, all right? Lala's up in the VIP with Melo. Sugar J comes walking by. I'm still standing in the same spot. As Sugar J walks by, Lala reaches over the balcony and grabs him by his shirt and says, Sugar, I guess she was going to apologize to her. That's exactly what she said. Sugar. The nigga Sugar J said, the fuck off me, bitch. 
and spit dead in her face, right? Now, Melo don't know what the fuck is going on. He don't know this nigga. All he's doing, he up in the VIP. All he do is see a nigga go and spit in, in his girl face, or which he thought was his girl, but which was they girl, right? So, Melo goes right over to the rail. Melo, am I lying, Melo? Melo, am I lying? Melo grabs the rail, jumps over the rail, right? And Sugar J's on this side. Melo's on this side. Sugar J back is to the door. They start squaring up, right? Now, Sugar J is about 4'11", on reach, about this long. Carmelo Anthony is about 6'5", maybe, on reach. On length for about this long, but it's mine. Every time Sugar J try to punch with his little arm at Melo, Melo would just catch that nigga from a, a down the street. Flat! You know what I'm saying? Here goes Sugar. Sugar, I'm gonna give it to you. You fought the nigga, but your arms are too short to box with God. Keep it real. He just catching them, right? Boom. He go out on the street. They fight. It, you know, the fight is over. Sugar J get Melo arrested. He sue him. He get a couple of hundred thousand. He started his clothing line. Boom. Now Melo knows, probably figured out what happened. So for a long time, he didn't marry uh, uh, Lala. But Lala got that baby out that nigga. She Honey. Okay, Choke No Jump was spilling all types of damn tea, okay? My thing is this, you know, we understand you're upset, you're still mad at the industry, but you talking about this whole Lala Anthony situation makes you look petty and gossipy as hell. Because let's keep it real, if Sugar J ain't talking about this shit and he's moved on with his life, why are you still holding on to this baggage almost 20 years later, okay? Now, I didn't like how Lala, you know, was acting on stage at Essence and the stuff she was saying. I wasn't feeling that because she's a mother and she does have a young boy. So I do agree with what Choke Nojuk was saying in that instance. You don't want to start this whole niggas ain't shit mentality when you're raising a young king, okay? That shit's not cute. Anyhow. With that being said, let's not, you know, spend this narrative that Lala was no one until she got with an NBA player. Because I remember Lala back in the day when I was in high school, seeing her on MTV. She was one of the VJs. She came up working with Ludacris in Atlanta. So Lala has been in the game long before I even knew who a Carmelo Anthony was. Now Carmelo Anthony, I believe he did get drafted from high school. He was a prospect. I and mean, I do remember her, you know, racing to go date him before he could get a chance to really get his feet wet in the industry. But I think this relationship relationship was mutually beneficial okay let's not act like when Carmelo Anthony came into the industry he had all these ties he had all these connections he was a ball player and he was really young nobody was checking for Carmelo all like that okay he was a really good prospect people you know saw a lot of hopes for him in the NBA but him dating Lala was definitely a step up for Carmelo it was not the other way around okay she wasn't just some groupie running behind him because she was self-made in her own right. So we're not going to spend that narrative choke no joke, okay? So I don't know, is that the correct way to handle somebody when you want to break it with them? No, of course not. You should let them know, I no longer want to be with you. I want to end this relationship and then move forward. But, you know, in the celebrity world, they don't give a fuck. They creep, they cheat, they do all that stuff. I think this marriage was mutually beneficial for both of them. Like, let's keep it real. The relationship definitely benefited both of them mutually. And then there might also be some resentment there because if you guys remember, Carmelo was supposed to go to the Miami Heats when uh, LeBron, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh all went. He was supposed to be the person to go with the other two. Chris Bosh wasn't even initially in the deal. But because Lala didn't want to leave New York because that's her base for her work and everything else, he chose to pass. So there might be some animosity, some resentment because of that. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. But, you know, this whole situation's a mess. I think at this point in time, their marriage has ran its course. They need to just quietly get a divorce. They need to raise their child. Carmelo needs to, you know, be able to be in his daughter's life and help raise her because that's one of the issues that the baby's mother has been out here spilling the tea on is that Carmelo is not allowed to see the daughter because Lala is still mad about the infidelity, which has nothing to do with the child. So, you know, maybe with them breaking up, he'll be more free to come and see his daughter. Who knows? 
Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Carmelo Anthony and Lala Anthony and their public, you know, split, their public breakup. And then how do you feel about Choke Nojo coming out of nowhere, honey? Spilling all types of tea that nobody asked for from the damn 90s concerning Lala and her cheating slash lesbian ways. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.